morning guys it is like 8 51 I think I'm gonna be just arriving on time to my morning clients houses um, I'm helping a I think like 17 year old today help clean his room uh, it's been really satisfying actually I find a lot of interesting things in teenagers rooms um, you know, because it reminds me of like when I was a teenager and like the kind of stuff I made. I mean, I'm not a 17 year old boy, but I, you know, I had some of the same stuff and like my stuff was everywhere when I was a teenager. And um, the thing about that is like being organized is not about like how you were when you were um, a teenager because I, I grew out of that, you know, I, uh, I didn't really start getting really organized in my uh, home space till I was in my um, late 20s, early 30s. So um, that goes to show if you uh, if you aren't organized right now and you're a young person, doesn't mean you can't get there. Um, even if you're an older person too, doesn't mean you can't get there. So uh, yeah, that's just the thoughts I have about that. I should really get something to uh, hold my camera while I'm in the car so that I can uh, be extra safe here. Um, but right now I'm just uh, doing a little precarious work thing here. Uh, I like to see my clients early in the morning. I find that uh, they can focus in the morning even though a lot of people aren't morning people. I happen to be a morning person. Um, so I can really get a lot of the, the real important work done in the morning before they either go to work or like before they start school or whatever. Um, I find that that's really a good time. I guess right now there's no school because uh, summer. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go there for a few hours and I uh, think it's gonna be another hot one today. I hope it's not too hot to walk the dog because uh, I think he really needs his walk. Otherwise, we'll just play ball in the hallway and that'll be enough for him. I'll see you guys later. All right, I am done with my client. That was fun, we had some fun. Found some interesting things in the room. Um, there's a crazy car accident back there. I don't know what happened, but one of the cars is in pretty bad shape if I must say so myself. So, on my way home, gonna work on a few organizing projects at home today. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna go to the Apple store to get a new pair of earbuds because I don't know if it's on purpose or whatever, but those things don't last very long, you know, like they either get bent or like one of the earphones stops working or I feel like in my lifetime I've probably purchased like, I don't know, like 10 pairs of earbuds. That's a lot considering I've only had, you know, well, maybe I've only been using those earbuds since like 2005 or something like that. Anyway, um got me thinking about, uh, so my client keeps lots of uh, greeting cards, like their whole family is really into greeting cards, like when they get like Christmas cards and stuff. What do you guys do with um, greeting cards? I, I, I've been meaning to sort of get into this because I feel like greeting cards are so much clutter and um, you know, you, all through your life you have like birthdays, Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all those holidays you're getting and giving all of these like cards and then you know people think they need to keep all the cards and but I mean if you live for a long time which you know most of us are you're gonna accumulate a lot of cards so what do you guys think do you guys keep gift cards not gift cards but like cards that people give you like reading cards I personally have only kept maybe a few maybe uh Maybe I have 10 that are kind of special to me, but the rest I really have gotten rid of. Um, if they're really special, I take a picture um, and keep them di digitally, um, but even those I don't really go and look at anymore, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm? Hey guys, it's Kay again. Welcome back to the Hubby Rag Organizing Laboratory, as you can see. Clover's here. He's always here. <laughs> and I'm going to be working on some other projects today. Um, I did, I went to Marshall's and I got some things. Um, I'm going to be working on a couple of projects. Hopefully I'll be able to finish um, at least one today. 
Uh, let me pick up this little jewelry thing here. I'm going to be working in the bedroom today, which is um, kind of different. I haven't really organized in here in a while. Um, so as you can see, there is a very large uh, armoire here. And inside, there are a few things I want to resort out. So I'll show you what's going on in there. Okay, so in the... Here's my little assistant. Cute, huh? All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> in the big part of the armoire is um, a bunch of dresses that I have. So these are like the formal dresses or like the longer dresses. I'm, I think I'm going to have to declutter from here because it's it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really tight. This is actually my wedding dress. I'm not really, oh no, this isn't my wedding dress. My wedding dress is in the other space. This might be my wedding dress. Um, let me see if it is. Um, no, it's, oh yes, it is my wedding dress. <laughs> um, it's super pretty. I don't know what exactly is going to happen to it. Um, I'll pop a picture of my wedding dress here. It's so pretty. Um, I, I love it. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I got, I just have a few things going on here and I just, I need to really pare down in this space. It's just really not big enough for what's going on in here. And I think I have also a few box, fabric boxes down here. I'm not even honestly sure what's in these. I feel like there's like tiny bags, um, in one of these, but I don't know what else is in the other. So we're going to sort that out. Oh, I'm sorry, Clover. Sorry, you shouldn't hang out there. It was a very dangerous place to hang out. He's like, I'm going to go under the bed. Anyway, this is another space that I want to figure out. I, I have some beauty stuff in here, and this is um, like bags, which, you know what? This actually works for me really well. This has all of my like tote bags and stuff like that. Usually this is my work bag, um, and this is like a little backpack that I like to have. This is actually a hair dryer. Um, and these are like smaller purses. This usually works for me really well. Um, but this this nonsense here, look, I have a stuffed Pokemon. I love that. Look, look, it's Evie. <laughs> Evie's back there. He's hiding from Clover. I don't want Clover to eat Evie. Um, and there's just some other stuff back here too. Why do I have a? Oh, this is from. <laughs> I was in an opera uh, a couple weeks ago, and I just carried all these hairpins with me to the dressing room. That's what these are from. So I think I'm gonna have to put those away. Uh, I just have stuff I haven't put away here. This is my like clothing. Um, repair place where there's like maintenance tools. I bought these little guys for traveling. I haven't put them away yet. Um, and this is where that stupid drawer organizer or drawer unit from the bathroom ended up. Haven't touched it since then. So let's have a come to Jesus moment about it. And there's just some other nonsense back here too. So I want to sort that out. These two drawers are mine too. This one's full of um, nail polish business. And this one actually has electronics. This one works pretty well for me. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to change what it is, but deal is, and these bottom drawers are belong to my husband, so I'm not going to touch those, but um, the deal is I have some under bed storage that is like making me really crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. I mean, it's a really nice, okay, Clover, you got to get out of the shop, man. Um, it's, it's a really nice efficient system. It's like a drawer and it has all of my electronics stuff in it. Um, but I don't really um, love this. Um, see, see if we can get it to focus. See, it has like um, my old iPhones in it, which I think I'm just gonna end up recycling um, some stuff. Um, I don't go in here very much, so I need to figure out why. <laughs> and um, this is actually the box to my ring light. I don't think that I can not store this under here, um, but there's some other stuff under here that I have to figure out as well. And um, Clover is a ham and wants to be just in every shot, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to sort this out, and uh, maybe later in the week I'm going to tackle my um, uh, vanity area, because that needs some organization too, even though it look, doesn't look too bad now. I think it could use some help. So I just took everything off of the hanging bar that was in here, and there's some stuff on the bottom here, and I have actually a, um, a garment rack, which I actually use um, for clients um, and I put all the stuff in there that's sad because that's like over four foot long and that's all of the things that were in there but look <laughs> look at the sweetness you found a little place to nap good job buddy all right getting ready to take this one to the groomers because it's very dirty right are you dirty you need to be cleaned up you're gonna be so pretty yes Good. Let's go. 
let's go get the puppy. I can't get over how cute he looks with his ears all blown out like that. You're so handsome! You're so handsome, little man! Yeah. Oh, he looks really sleepy. You're gonna have a nice long nap when you get home, okay, bud? Yeah. Show you guys what I got. I got the big bag. Woo! And um, I got mostly housewares, so I am gonna share with you um, what I'm gonna do with them, how I'm gonna organize with them, and what I'm gonna do about other stuff. Because I have sort of a, um, a rule that if we're gonna bring stuff home, we have to get some stuff out of here. So we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. So the first thing I got was this uh, book. It's called Date Night In, and it's more than 120 recipes to nourish your relationship. And uh, my husband and I really like cooking together. Um, right now we're using meal lime to organize our um, dinner meals, but I thought this would be really fun because it's um, like a once a week kind of thing. So we don't always use meal lime, so maybe on those times when we're feeling extra special, we can whip this out. Um, and I can show you where I put my cookbooks. Yay. The next thing I picked up was this super cute mug. It is, it has a K on it for K. Um, so you've got flowers on the back too. It's really cute. Um, nothing on the inside. Um, I love mugs. I don't really have that great luck with anthropology mugs. Um, I, for some reason, break them, but this one is microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So I think this will be a really good um, addition to my collection, but I do have to get rid of one because one came in. So we'll see what happens with that. The next things I picked up were uh, three of these um, Molly Hatch glasses. These are like juice glasses, and I love these. I've had like six or seven of these, but admittedly, I think I've broken four or five of them. So these are just some new ones. Um, they're super cute. One says, uh, be awesome today. It has like somebody standing on a motorcycle on it, and then one says, the best day ever. And then the other one has two adorable little spaniels on it and says meant to be so no I had to get that one um, these are super cute I'm super excited to use them and finally I got three little trinket trays um, I'm really into trinket trays right now because I feel like they are really helpful when organizing smaller stuff stop playing with the paper Mr. Clover thank you uh oh oh no Anyway, one is this cute little turtle, and I saw this on the anthropology website, and I was in love. I really love this. It's so cute. And the other was this um, constellation, well, like zodiac sign dish. I really, really love this one. It I saw it on the website, and I was like, I have to have it. Um, and then the next one, the last one I got was this little cute one with a girl and her dog on it, and I thought that was really apropos. So these are the three trinket trays I picked up. I really like them, and I can't wait to use them. So here's what I did with the little cute um, doggy one. This is our spare key. Um, it's for our dog walker, so um, I thought that was appropriate, super cute. And yes, I already had a little bowl in here, and it's for my Pokemon Go Plus. Yes, I am a nerd, and I still play that game. Um, and this is our little, like, front area. Oh my god, there's one treat left in here. What are we gonna do? I have this little situation beside my bed where before I get into bed, sometimes I take off my earrings and I don't put them back right away because I'm tired. Um, and I use a little tray for that, but I broke it, so this is its replacement. I just think it's so cute. Look, it's a little turtle. 
I definitely think he needs a name. What do you think? Sheldon? Oh my god, Sheldon. Sheldon, you're home! You're home! Cookbooks are up above the refrigerator. So I think I'm going to take this chance to possibly get rid of a few here. Alright. Four ingredient cooking. I never read this anymore. Um... Hmm, a couple of these aren't mine. <laughs> um, actually the rest of these are good, so I will get rid of one and add one. So let's make a little room for it to make sure it's going to fit. I want to see if it'll fit well until then. See if it's not too tall. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Yeah! By the way, the only really good thing to store about the refrigerator are like books and like maybe like some tools you're not using because it can get kind of hot and weird up there. You don't want to put like food. That would be really bad. All right, moment of truth with the mugs here. Let's take a look. Oh, man. See, a lot of these are my husband's. and I don't think I can get rid of any of his. This one I have to keep. Um, wow. Hmm. I already decluttered these mugs like once. So this is gonna be hard. But I think maybe like this guy has to go. I like it and I use it a lot, but it's just um it's kind of big. Yeah, he's gotta go. And I did wash this before it's going in my collection. So here we go. Perfect. These other glasses are washed too. So we can put these up here along with the other one. Now it's one big happy juice glass family. Sweet. Anyway, I'll quick you guys, uh, quickly fill you guys on in on what happened with the um, cabinet. I did actually take everything out from under the bed. Um, so now there's, there's nothing. It's pretty impressive. Um, so now the little mop can get under there, which is awesome. So the cabinet got filled up. So I didn't really solve this too much because I didn't really want to part with a lot of these dresses. So it's still full in here. And, um, actually there's some boxes in here. This is now my craft stuff that's in here also. Um, and my wrapping paper that got shoved in there. So it's not perfect right now, but it's better than it was. And here is the large cabinet that had some stuff in it before. Now it's um, a little better, a little more organized. Um, I sort of kept that bag area the same that it was because it worked for me. Um, but I just moved some other stuff to boxes and I decluttered these boxes. Um, they're basically like travel bags and um, samples for when I travel. Um, these are actually electronic things. These are like um, cords and stuff. And um, oh, these are actually recorders um, and devices. Um, and the bottom one is just like cords and adapters when I need them. Um, and there's some other electronic stuff in here too, along with a random nail polish remover because um, it didn't fit in my nail polish remover solution. <laughs> So um, that's that. And then this drawer doesn't really have a purpose right now. It's got some um, pillowcases in it right now, but I don't think that that's the permanent home for them. So still trying to figure this out. So we're in my closet. <laughs> um, I My goal for today is to get um, a few things out of this closet to make some space. As you can see, the clothes are really close together. They're like best friends forever. So I want to make a little more space in the closet so I can um, buy new things. <laughs> um, it's really hard for me to get rid of pieces because I really love clothes and I actually um, used to write a fashion blog back in the day so I'm really attached to some pieces um, but I really have to let go of some pieces and make some room oh and if you guys are not familiar this is the um, alpha closet system from the container store it's got drawers shoe organizers you can't see that because the camera's not aimed there um, but it's really great and it's modular and I love it so much and we'll see what I can do in here. All right, I think I'm done. 
here is the sort of stuff I'm getting rid of. I just don't reach for these little pieces anymore. Some of this really breaks my heart because I want to like it, but whenever I put it on, I go, eh. and that is when you should get rid of something. Um, some of these I've had for a long time, this cute little skirt from Express a million years ago. I just never wear this. Um, and this really cute um, Tracy Reese skirt from Anthropology. I never wear that. Um, I know it looks like I have a lot and I do have a lot. I just love them all. And I just, I do reach for all of these things. I love to dress colorfully <laughs> and um, it's just really fun for me. Uh, I was uh, watching a really cool YouTube video. This is one of my favorite YouTubers. Shout out Claire Siobhan. Um, she's playing, she's a gamer. She's playing The Sims. This is the greatest series ever. I could watch this forever. Claire, I love you. And just, you guys notice that I have all of the same hangers. That is one trick that you can do to make your closet look really neat uh, without doing much of anything. They can even be like super cheap hangers, but as long as they're all the same hangers, it looks amazing. Um, these are those really thin uh, hangers. I think they're called huggable hangers. I think that, but I think that's the name brand. You can get like hangers um, that are cheaper, that are the same from like Target or something like that, or Walmart or whatever. And um, when you when you take a, a garment off of its hanger, don't leave it hanging with the rest of the stuff. You'll never find it again. So either put it um, on the end here, or I like to slide mine right, right next to the shoes so that after I've washed my clothes, I can just grab a hanger and hang it back up. Oh, and here are the gliding shoe shelves I was telling you about. These are my favorite part of my closet, aren't they cool? <laughs> and this little... Uh, this little guy is for like clothes that I have worn once, but like don't want to wash. So I just shove them in here and wear them again. <laughs> Donation bag is ready to go. Got some clothes, got my mug, got my book. Um, and I'm going to put this near the door so that I don't forget it on the way out. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of random organizing vlog and I will see you in the next video.